Okay, um, I have to do this video again because my last video uh, didn't record properly. So um, I just wanted to share this um, video with everyone just in case um, there's somebody out there like me who is maybe looking for a better blending brush in Procreate. Um, I was, I love Procreate. I'm, I've only had it for about a week. Um, I've only had my iPad for about a week, so I'm still learning quite a bit, and, um, I, like I said, I love Procreate, but, uh, one thing I was having a hard time with was, uh, blending brushes, uh, in Procreate, like the, uh, all the smudgers that come with it, um, or you can use any, actually, when you go into the smudge menu, you can use any brush actually that comes along with uh, Procreate. Um, but yeah, I, I was testing them all out, trying to find what worked good, and um, I'm just used to Clip Studio where you you know you blend and it just blends really nice. Um, but I, I I was learning in in uh, Procreate that you kind of have to like pick up colors and blend them over and then pick up the other color and do it manually like that and uh, for me I don't like that um, I just wanted a blending brush that you didn't have to do that um, so yeah I am excited because I made a blending brush and it's actually uh, not hard to make brushes in Procreate. Make your own brushes. Uh, I was a little intimidated at first, uh, but I found that it's, I mean, there are a lot of settings in there. Um, there is a lot that I, I don't know. Um, but the one setting in Dynamics is really all you need if you just want something simple. And I'll show you in a sec here. I'm just going to set this palette up to show an example of how well this brush blends. So, you know, for people that are... This works really good for, like, if you're doing portraits and that. I mean, it depends on what kind of pictures you're going for and what effects you're looking for. But um, <clears throat> for blending skins skin tones and stuff. Um, I love this brush. Uh, anyways, yeah, so call it my blender. And um, just to make your own brush, you just go into this plus sign and you can choose uh, from the pro library um, whatever shapes you want. So I chose the hard circle and that one. And then down here I chose the uh, blank square shape here yeah. and then you just go back into settings go to dynamics down here there's all different settings and this is what can be intimidating because it's like oh <clears throat> you have to watch like hours of tutorials to figure this out but no um, just go into dynamics um, and with this brush you uh, put it on wet mix Solution at max, uh, charge is way down, uh, disabled, attack is none, pull is at 50%, and everything else just uh, stays the same, I didn't touch anything else, and it blends beautifully, so um, I usually keep the opacity, just uh, well, you play around with the opacity as you blend, but I usually keep it about a little less than halfway, and I absolutely love how it blends. It's gorgeous. So yeah, I just wanted to share this quick little video with people that might be searching for the same, an easier way to blend. So this brush just picks up colors for you and blends them into each other. You don't have to do it manually. 
and playing around with the opacity really helps, especially if you're um, going into doing um, like really small spaces or places or hard edges in that, you want the opacity to be down quite a bit. So this brush can um, blend smoothly and it can blend, you know, hard edges that you need for shadowing. just might really love this brush if you're looking for a better blending tool in Procreate. So try it out, let me know what you think.